my friends a star thrifter and I have um, a video to share with you today and it's in regards to end sell similar on eBay and if you've not watched any of my other videos before I sell full-time and um, I sell on eBay and I also sell on Poshmark anyhow today it's in regards to the end sell similar and does that really work does it uh, work to increase sales does it work to um, get you know refresh the old stale listings and um, I'll tell you how it has worked for me and anyways um, I used to always do just periodically once in a while you know how like um, if you sell clothing and that's what I sell or anything that you sell if you have it on buy it now it has an automatic relist every 30 days well supposedly eBay stated that after I think it is nine months pretty much those listings are probably not going to be really seen anymore. They're going to really be bottomed out. And you're really going to want, they suggested doing the end and doing sell similar. One way that you can find that out on how old your listings are is that if you um, go to your desktop and you bring up your account, click on active, and then it will bring up all of them. Wait for it to load. If you have very many, it takes a little while to load. And uh, anyways, um, you know, you have all your listings there, but it doesn't tell you how many days it's been listed. Now, I think on the phone app it does when you're getting ready to, you know, list or so. It'll tell you how many days. You want to know how many days the item's been listed. Not within the 30-day cycle, but total overall. One way you can find out is on your desktop. You click on Promotions, go to Markdown Sale. And if you click on that and then, uh, you know, choose your your percent that you're going to um, do on the sale and then it'll go you know select individual items when it brings up all the items over to the right there'll be a section and it'll tell you how many days I had some on there it was like 400 and some days it was a lot anyhow I used to only do just a few on my phone app like you know I would go in and see which ones were getting ready to end the soonest and I would do, you know, here a few, you know, a few here and there or whatever. And it really didn't seem to make a big difference unless I did like a really, you know, big amount of them. However, I was reading on the Facebook forums that you can do it in bulk and I had never tried that. And I just tried that and you know what? It does work. It does work to boost the sales. And in fact, one of them, um, as soon as I did the end and sell similar, I did a grouping of it. But one of the items, it had been sitting for a oh, really long time. And here it is, September. Summer's already passed. It was a pair of men's shorts. It sold right away. That means that it is boosting that listing up, you know, new. Anyhow, how you can do it is you can go into, um, you get on the computer and you go to your active listings. And then, um, you know, from there, usually the first page are going to be the oldest if you didn't, you know, go. Because it's not going to tell you, like I said, how many days when you're just inactive. But you can also, you know, check it out when you're doing a sale or just going to do a, you know, a pretend sale and see how old they are and know what items you want to end. But anyways, I just went with my first page because I have like, I think there was like 13 maybe or 14 pages because I had 2,500 um, items listed. What I did is I just went through and did like maybe 10 at a time or, you know, 15 or 20 at a time and you'd end them. Then you click on ended listings and you go there. Then you can click on the top box and it'll highlight all of them. Just make sure you don't have anything else in the ended section that you don't want to relist when you do this or make sure you don't click those boxes. <laughs> I did that once and you have to pay attention to that. And once or twice I did it. Anyhow, if you click on that, then you can do sell similar. And then it brings you up all of the listings, and then you can go in there and change it. I have been just going in, and uh, when I do the bulk ones, i just been going in and changing the pricing a little bit. I always think it's probably a good idea to change a little something about the listing. It might be a really great time, actually, to view your listing. Make sure that, you know, if it's a piece of clothing, make sure if it says it's a size small, it really is a size small. Make sure it says it in the title and also the item specifics or you know, or change something in the title or, or whatever you'd like. Anyhow, and then when you're all done and you, you got all the editing that you want done, um, then at the bottom you can click it and it will go ahead and relist them. Now, this is really important. Click out of that, go to your end listings, listings, listings that are ended again, and then make sure 
that you click on all those that you just relisted and delete them. Make sure you do that step because if you're doing a few batches of this where you're doing 10 or 25, those are still going to be there when you're getting ready to do the next batch and you can overlap and I did that once or twice too. Anyhow, you just want to pay attention, but I'll tell you what, the ending in the South Similar does it. And like I said, eBay had just mentioned that, that um, it is recommended by them, especially if you have items that's been listed over nine months because they said it really gets bottomed out, you know, meaning way down here. Now, if you ha are selling things that, um, you know, there's not a lot of competition, um, then let's say if you're, it's something more rare and there's only maybe 10 or 15 listed, you don't really have to worry about it too much because there's not that many listed. But I sell clothing. And the majority of the clothing, there's like a lot of listings and there could just be pages and pages and pages. And, uh, you know, if you're selling anything that is a little bit more, you know, common, then you're going to want to really pay attention to this. Now, how often you should do it or how many at a time, I do not know. As far as I know at this point, eBay does not penalize your account at all for doing this. However, when I choose, um, when you're doing it from your, this is really cool and I know this. When you're doing it from the desktop, it doesn't ask you to choose how come you're ending the listing. Like, you know, don't have it or it's already sold or, you know, there's an error. You don't have to make, you don't have to click a box. You can just end them. And I really like that because on the phone app, when you do them individually, you have to choose one. And when I do, I usually always put error, you know, like there is an error, you know, because, you know, you're going to fix something about it and, uh, you know, change something about the listing. And uh, I just choose that, and um, but I've not ever heard of anybody being penalized for it. If you have, please write it in the comments if you know anything about that, but I have not. And I know some people do quite a few a day. Now, right now, I've just been doing, you know, I just started doing it, and the first day I just did, you know, a smaller batch. Yesterday, I think I did, um, I think I might have done 40 or 45, but anyhow, and uh, we'll have to, you know, just, I'll just have to check it and check to see how many items are actually listing, but it is making a difference. And another thing, um, you know how people can, um, you can send offers to likers. Well, uh, I've been getting some of the offers to likers, the option to send them an offer on some of these ones that I just did the end sell similar. Anyhow, I just wanted to kind of do this video about it uh, because maybe it'll benefit your account. I mean, we're all, you know, working really hard at this. It's a lot of work to do these listings. And um, the more, the bigger your store get, gets, it's harder to keep up on, you know, some of the listings. And you'll kind of forget sometimes what you have listed or maybe you haven't went and did any updates. And also, you know, prices can change over time too. And you want to make sure that it's still competitive. And uh, anyhow, like I said, I have um, around almost 2,500 listings listed. And I think that this is a really great feature. And I'm going to keep trying it. Now, I do still list new stuff every day. It's Except for this, like this past weekend, I did have two days I didn't list. But normally, I try to list uh, five to six days a week. I was doing seven days a week for a really long time, a set amount. But you know what? I had heard some, you know, a lot of people think that you have to do it seven days a week, the set amount. And you have to do it for a long period of time in order to start selling it may like if you're selling 10 or listing 10 a day to sell 10 a day whatever but then i've heard from some other resellers that they only do maybe five days now some people will do them during the week and save them in their drafts new listings and then they'll post them on the weekend but i mean like not doing any new listings or postings on a day or two of the week i really do not know yet still on that but i have been um i I was trying to do 20 a day, but I've had one, I've had a hard time finding enough inventory because I don't want to list just anything. You don't want to fill your store with a bunch of things that are very slow movers either because you want to keep activity because the more activity you have, I swear, the more sales it seems that you get. And uh, eBay likes activity in your account. And another thing is too, we had summer slowdown and this has been a slow because of the economy too and I haven't thrifted as much you know as far as like but the biggest thing is finding the inventory but what I have been doing too besides doing the end and sell similar I've been taking some of my old listings um, and I'll go out like I'll take a, um, a tote out in the garage and some you know some of the ones I know that's been um, 
you know, listed for quite a while, what I'll do is I'll end those listings. Like let's say I'll do a batch of like 10 and I'll end those. Then I screenshot the photos from that original listing. You know, I have that on my phone, but then I'll go to the computer and I will cr create a brand new listing for it. It's not a cell seminar. It's not a relist. It's a brand new listing. Then when I'm all done, then I take um, those screenshot photos and I just reuse them because, you know, that saves a little bit of time. And I think that that's been working too. Now, is that more of a benefit to do that over the end cell similar? I do not know. The end cell similar is a lot easier, a lot faster. And I'll just have to, you know, play around with it. Now, I, I, I don't really know for sure. But anyhow, hopefully you got some benefit out of this and many prosperous sales to you. And if you'd like, you can subscribe. I got a lot of other videos up and other, you know, selling, reselling eBay tips and, and Poshmark um, things too. And, and some thrift hauls and things like that. And I would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you could push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate that too. And I, I enjoy reading the comments. Please leave a comment. Thank you.